Next subtopic, we are going to look at the electron diffraction experiment. Di mana sebelum ni, I have mentioned that di Broglie, di Broglie dia suggest that particle behave as wave. So now, there are another two physicists, which is Davison and Germer. What they did is, because they want to prove whether this statement is true, they did one experiment. So this experiment, we call it as electron diffraction experiment. Di mana? Um, they are going to use the, the particle which is the electron and then they are going to observe the expected lah. They, they expect that they are going to observe the diffraction di mana diffraction ni adalah salah satu properties of the wave because diffraction yang kita belajar dekat dalam chapter N where we can see the pattern of diffraction we will um, have the dark and bright this one this one is diffraction okay so this one adalah the setup of this this experiment so what we have here we have cathode dekat sini plate cathode and then anode and then graphite film yang digunakan sebagai target and then this one is actually a glass di mana kat dalam glass ni diletakkan screen screen color putih so dekat bahagian anode um, dia akan letak voltage yang sangat-sangat tinggi untuk untuk uh, untuk attract the cathode from uh, the electron from this cathode side Okay, so sebab dia, dia mau attract electron tu. Because electron ni dia bukan photon kan. Photon kalau light, dia just... Light ni dia ada dia punya velocity sendiri. Which is 2 exponent 8. So, kita tidak perlu... Uh, kita tidak perlukan potential difference dekat situ. Tidak perlukan voltage lah untuk... Untuk gerakkan the photon. So, electron dia adalah... Dia adalah static initially. So, that's why kita perlukan voltage untuk gerakkan this electron. So, apabila electron ni pass to the graphite, so what they observe is, okay, what they observe on the screen is a pattern, which is diffraction pattern kita. Dia, 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 dia nampak, okay, fizis ni dia nampak dekat screen ni, diffraction pattern di mana akan ada bright and dark pattern. So, melalui observation ni, uh, so it is proven lah yang particle ni, Particle, this electron particle is actually behaving as a wave as well. Meaning that, kalau the pattern ni, dia akan ada, dia punya wavelength. So, what they observe is, if they increase the velocity of the electron, okay, they can see that the rings are seen to become narrower. So, because dekat sini, dia, dia adalah glass yang curve macam ni kan. So, pattern yang nampak tu adalah curve lah instead of pattern yang kita nampak dekat chapter 8 macam ni tu. So, this one we call them the rings. So, they become narrower. So, meaning that um, bila velocity increase, lambda akan decrease. Uh, decrease. So, maksudnya dia proof lah the de Broglie, de Broglie wavelength formula dekat sini. Okay, since electron ni um, electron ni is moving, right? So, since the electron is moving, so, meaning that dia akan ada energy, kinetic energy. Di mana kita tahu kinetic energy is equal to elect electron times with the voltage. So, this formula kalau kita rearrange, kita akan dapat macam ni. Di mana velocity, kalau V kecil ni adalah velocity, V yang besar adalah voltage. Velocity is equal to 2 EV over M, square root of 2 EV over M. So, since lambda, because we want to relate with this formula of de Broglie, since lambda is equal to h over mv, okay, v dekat sini adalah velocity. So, this one, velocity. And then, this one is voltage. This one is velocity. Okay, so since this one is the formula for the de Broglie, so substitute this formula. Uh, sorry, substitute v to here. She is akan dapat this formula. So, uh, bila we arrange, you will get this formula. So, formula ni diberikan dekat dalam list of formula. So, basically dekat dalam chapter 10, dua, uh, there are only two formula is given in the exam. This formula and also formula yang ni. Okay, so I guess um, that's all to get the whole idea of this, this electron diffraction experiment. So, the next video will be discussing the example for this subtopic. So, that's all for this one. Thank you.